Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Uh, if you're new here uh, and like the content go ahead and hit like or subscribe and I'll be posting other types of contents um, you know based on your feedback and comments. Uh, so in this video uh, is a video of um, how I kind of clean up my retro gaming collection um, and um, you know a, a lot of the problems with buying used games um, and um, secondhand games is that you know a lot of times they're uh, there's some uh, stickers on them, um, price stickers, uh, labels from uh, previous owners and things like that. So uh, one of the things, <clears throat> excuse me, that I, uh, I do in order to kind of remove a lot of the sticker residue is uh, I actually use uh, something that you can buy at your local hardware store. So I got this at Home Depot and it's basically a goof off and it, it's an adhesive remover gel. And um, this is something that's super cheap it only cost me five ninety seven uh, and it's a sixteen ounce uh, spray bottle version uh, of the uh, of the goo off so um, and this thing works really well so other than removing stickers off of a lot of my game cases and actual game cartridges um, I also use it to clean my whiteboards and uh, and basically anything that you have stickiness or stains it, it removes it pretty well uh, it does smell really bad so wherever you do this make sure you have proper ventilation um, so in this video I have an example of a um, PS3 game resistance that had a whole bunch of uh, pre-owned stickers uh, or price stickers uh, from uh, GameStop um, so all you have to do is you know usually what I would do is try to remove as much of the sticker off of the case as much as I can before I spray uh, the uh, you know the the goo op onto it uh, and then once you do uh, remove as much of uh, the the sticker as possible go ahead and spray a pretty good amount on there and then uh, what I use is I usually use a plastic tool so um, this little um, device that I have uh, this little stick or pick that I have is from my iFixit tool uh, case uh, but you can use like uh, you know like um, um, I wouldn't say a credit card but maybe like um, like a membership card or something like that that you don't need or um, but definitely something a little bit more uh, rigid to kind of um, you know dig the uh, the solution into the adhesive and then just uh, scrub it around this is uh, me just gently rubbing the uh, the material uh, and substance right into the sticker and you can see it comes off uh, fairly easily you don't really have to put too much pressure you just want to make sure it gets soaked in and the chemicals in the uh, in, in the actual spray it um, it'll break down the adhesive and it's gonna be very easy uh, for you to clean things up so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fast forward the video to kind of show you how you know I, I remove the sticker off of the case and, and actually one of the things that, that I should have done here uh, which you'll see in the video that that I do later is uh, you should probably open and take the label out because the um, the actual material if if it gets on uh, i haven't tried it on like uh the the you know the 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 actual title pages of these um uh, the sleeves the sleeve covers of the games um i don't know how much of it will will get rubbed off but just as a precaution you should probably remove the the sleeve cover of the actual game and just focus on just the uh, the case itself and removing that and, and you'll see that as i fast forward the video i actually do that uh, if you actually have sticker residue on an actual cartridge uh, like for me i have a ton of super nes games sega genesis uh, master systems game um and some of them do have um you know a uh, sticker residue on them from from previous owners or from previous shops that I've purchased them for and those when I spray on I, I try to rub it as quickly as I can and rub it off just because I don't want the chemical to sink and absorb too much into the the actual title label of those cartridges uh, here's is a little bit different with like a PlayStation 3 game or an Xbox original game or um, you know any any games that that I wouldn't say are retro, but a little bit in between retro and modern, where they have uh, plastic um, you know cases, uh, you can still remove them and really preserve the case uh, very well without having you know, you know um, um, with that. So here you'll see that I'll remove the sleeve cover, and you see that this particular game also has a um, a sticker on the back. So so I'll fast forward the video now. Uh, to kind of show you my whole process on this um, and usually it takes me about maybe 
maybe five to ten minutes depending upon how much uh, sticker residue is on the actual case to clean it, clean it up and everything so I'll uh, fast forward now and then um, kind of in the uh, in the video after I'm done So here now you can see I'm um, pretty much done removing the, the sticker residue from the front and the back cover and I'm just taking a, a nice uh, terry cloth and just wiping up uh, any type of um, additional residue left over, putting the game back into the case and putting the sleeve cover and the uh, title uh, page in there. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a very simple process, a quick little video, um, so if you want to restore and remove a lot of the uh, any type of adhesive residue off of your uh, gaming collection. Uh, I highly recommend this particular, uh, you know, uh, solution here, and it's uh, super affordable, super cheap. And like again, um, make sure you're doing it in a well ventilated area because it does smell. Uh, so you don't want to get sick or anything, uh, breathing it in and everything. You know, it's uh, it's you know I'm pretty sure there's some chemicals in here that breaks down the adhesive that's not really good for you. So definitely use it in a uh, in a well ventilated area. So if you guys have any questions, post uh, comments, uh, you know, uh, down below. And if you guys have other solutions outside of this, let me know, uh, and I'll definitely take a look at it. But this is something that I've been using for. Uh, several years now and it, it works great for me so i just wanted to make sure i share it with uh, with everybody and and see um, you know what the feedback is so um yeah if you like the content go ahead and hit like uh if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe and i'll be posting other similar videos uh regarding preserving and repairing you know retro games um, but also do uh you know once in a while podcasts and just talking about the gaming environment and the landscape and and how uh things are, are being played out so yeah all right guys have a great day talk to you later bye